Alright, so what's up you guys, it's Andy C back with another video and today we're switching it up once again going back on the hair topic, the dreads topic. I know there's a few of you guys that really really love when I do videos talking about the hair stuff, uh, retwist, my lock updates, how to style, stuff like that. Today, hopefully I can reach some new people as well when I talk about the hair. But today we're going to be doing, as you can tell, I have the two strands in on my dreads right now. We're going to do a twist out on the dreads today so we can show you guys how they look before and after and we're going to have that little curly wavy ramen noodle <laughs> curly wavy ramen noodle look you know on the dreads and i'm gonna show you guys how y'all rocking with it and i can chop it up with you guys in the meantime and one time let's shout out let me get close let's let's take a second for this fade please look at this butter so smooth so clean so happy to have a haircut you know up in college i'll be going a little bit of time without them but with that being said, let's get straight into this video and hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I got them up in this like pineapple top kind of deal right now. Let's go ahead and take it out of this so we can see how much hair we're working with. So as you can see, with two strands in, they rest at the bottom of my chin. Last time I checked out of two strands, they sit about my collarbone. But I like to do it when I section off my hair, taking out these two strands so I don't get any confused. I tie them all back up and I just pull them out one by one and take the rubber bands off the end and then I go in at the end and I will take out each one. So as you can see with the two strands, I've got my dreads folded up in here and there's a rubber band at the end, it kind of like blunts off all the ends, keeps it all uniform and even looking. So we're gonna take every rubber band out. This can be the most time consuming thing. It's my absolute least favorite part. If you've got somebody that can help you do this, by all means, get their help. Me, it's just me solo. I'm gonna do these by myself and show you guys what I'm rocking with up top after I take these out. All right, so we're gonna take all these out one by one, starting in the front, take a few out, let's get these things started. Also, I'll definitely recommend having a little uh, rat tail kind of comb or just a comb that's got this end on it. Sometimes they get stuck in there and you gotta like poke the rubber band out of there just to help you make it easier for when you're doing this yourself. So yeah, just keep one of these handy or some pair of tweezers sometimes works as well. Uh, I don't recommend using scissors just in fear of you cutting your own hair, but sometimes if it gets caught up in there, you might have to use one. So just have a few materials. For the most part, I can get them out by my hand. I've been doing this for a minute, but it might be easier for you if you have a little bit of a tool. So that being said, let's get into taking these out of my head. So you can see when I take them out, you know, they were folded up under. Now I got kind of that curl at the end. So I split each one down at the very end after they're all taken out. So now we got about probably 30, 40 more rubber bands to take out. So uh, here we go. <laughs> Man, I promise if somebody came in the room or knocked at my door right now and saw me like this, I don't even know what I'd do. <laughs> I look crazy right now. But we almost like halfway done. Got this little section to go. It's coming out pretty easy today. I can't even complain. Um, so we're going to come back to my regular dreads pretty soon. Really smooth, really easy, really simple. So yeah, we almost there. Super stuck in my head right here, but you know, this with a comb, I'm coming handy. You just slide that thing under the band and break it. Just break the band like that, it's gonna come right out. I've learned too, the better you keep your locks moisturized, the easier that this process is gonna be. So I have like a leave-in conditioner spray. I spray it like once a week, once uh, or twice a week, kind of like that. Just keep my stuff all nice and right and keeps it smelling really good too. So just keeping the moisturizer is gonna make this whole process a lot easier if you are somebody that likes getting the two strands like myself. It's gonna be a lifesaver. You can make some of yourself too. Mine is pretty much just like peppermint oil, coconut oil, and a couple other things. I'm not 100% sure of everything that's in there, but if you guys wanna know, uh, I can drop it in the comments. That's my little key to this. 
the officially all out of my head, all the rubber bands. We had plenty, plenty rubber bands locked up in my hair. Came out pretty simple though, I can't even complain. So, I um, kind of look like octopus tentacles. <laughs> I don't even know right now because these ends are like flaring out a little bit. But I'm going to put this back up. Uh, then I'm going to do it the same way, tie it up. And I'm going to take each strand down one by one and we're going to see how it looks in the end. Hair tie. Same way as we started, man. Going right back up to the pineapple wave. Take them out one by one. And we're just going to separate each one of them. This is one of my strands that had three. Boom, and now you can see what my hair is really looking like out of these strands. It should be done in no time. It's a lot quicker taking these out uh, with this twist than taking them out the rubber band. So, let's get straight to it. It shouldn't take too much more time. But, you know, it's gonna look really, really good when we're all finished. So let's get straight to it. As you can see, we have got them all out except for this last one. I thought I'd do the last one on the little close-up camera vibe. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me show y'all the. So y'all see the details. Boom. Making progress. Knock this one out quick. How we moving? How we moving? And just like that, separate the root. I have all my dreads. Out. I need to do another dread count because I have combined a few dreads. I've lost a few dreads, but you know, hey, we're here. So this is how my hair is looking outside of the twist. You can see, kind of got the wavy look going on all around. Hit y'all with a little this side too. You don't see, 360. Boom, this is how we're looking. Coming up on that three year mark very, very soon as well. This July is gonna mark three years of me having dreads. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna do something different. I don't know if I'm gonna switch it up. I also don't know how long I'm gonna keep them for. If I'm gonna make it to your four, five, six, who knows? So y'all just gonna have to stay tuned. Man, look at how far we've come, man, from that little worm stage. You can see this thing is long. You can see how far we've come, man. I'm just below my collarbone. If y'all been watching for a long time, y'all remember when I still had like the worm look, the like the OG, OG starter locks. Like we've come a very, very long way. But hopefully this can show you guys to just stay consistent and like, you just gotta, it's tough. You gotta get through those little stages, but this is like to help show you guys the product of like what can become, because pretty much my whole dread journey is on YouTube, on this channel documented. So it's like, you know, this is how far we've come, man. And I don't know when I'm gonna stop, if I'm gonna stop, but you know, the progress, the progress speaks for itself, man. I should do another style. If there's some recommendation you have, some products you can put me onto, drop in the comments, man. Let me know, I'd be happy. Happy to check them all out and keep interacting with you guys. I appreciate all of y'all once again. We have grown so much. 1.1K is only up here. The goal is 10K now. We on that road. Man, I love each and every one of you guys for showing that love and supporting. So thankful y'all are changing. Y'all are changing my life slowly but surely. But man, we gonna be up. We gonna be up for real. Putting this out into the universe now. We gonna be up for real, for real. So y'all stay tuned. I thank y'all for coming in the early days because pretty soon, Real soon, it's gonna be a whole nother story, man. <laughs> that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Hopefully I can motivate and inspire you guys to do something you love. And you know, hey, maybe if you need this little push to get locks or style your locks like this, maybe it's that little push that you needed. Thank you guys for watching this far along in this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't below. Leave a like and comment. I'd love to interact with you guys. I love chopping up with y'all, y'all. Follow me on Instagram as well. I'm pushing to continue making this high quality content for you guys. So if you got a recommendation, feel free to DM me at Aaron to see underscore on Instagram or drop it in the comments. I'll be happy to chop it up with you guys. So this has been Aaron to see, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. We out of here.